Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to the Handheld Computer Museum. Today we're going to do a little bit of tidying up on this beautiful Panasonic 850 calculator. If you take a close look, it's not terrible, but there's definitely some grime going on around the keys and kind of at the edge of the keys, um, especially right around this uh, power switch, right in this little lip here. Um, so it's really surficial stuff. I don't really see too much else. Yeah, a little bit of grime in that pad there. Yeah, but really not too much. So I think we'll just give it a clean. This will be interesting to see if we can get that off. It doesn't, I don't feel it on the surface, so that may not come off, which is okay. We'll just get the, we'll get the big stuff off and, and call it good. All right, let's get started. Got some basic kind of all-purpose all cleaner. Got the alcohol if we need to get in a little harder microfiber cloth toothbrush is always handy for something that's not abrasive but we'll kind of get into some of the places that something like a q-tip may not uh, so first you know i think i'm going to get in around around this area well i'll just give it a general kind of spray and once over and then see what i can get with just that and then and then go from there i try to be pretty ginger i don't want to I don't want to strip anything off of it. I mean, I'm not worried about mint condition devices, but I definitely don't want to make them worse, <laughs> you know, if I don't have to. A lot of times with paper towels, I'll just kind of bunch them up and force them into little cracks and crevices. And sometimes that's enough to get the gunk out, which is definitely the case. So you can see some of the gunk there. Just kind of press the, press the paper towel into that space. Pretty good amount of gunk on that side. Yep, that's coming off real easy. That's great. Of course, there's, you know, scratches and things like that on a lot of these devices that I'm not going to be able to get. And that is fine. But, you know, if there's any dirt in them, I can try to get that out at least. Yeah, the screen looks pretty good. Uh, it's got a little, little bit of gunk around the corners. We'll see if I can get in there. I'm just going around the edge now to see if there's any kind of loose, um, just loose bits that I can kind of wipe off. Let's see if this bottom part will come off at all. Yeah, I have a feeling that's kind of discoloration that it looks like a stain. Yeah, that's not going to come off with at least this cleaner. I might try the alcohol on that and just see. But again, I'm going to be trying not to make things worse. That's for sure. Cool, that's pretty good uh, around around the outside. I guess I can get the back a little bit too. Looks like there might have been some some little foot pads here that would have been rubber. Uh, I don't really have anything good to replace that, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Let's see if we can get the gunk out of this little lift pad here. Yeah, no problem. Comes off real easy. That's great. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get in with a Q-tip and things like that, but Q-tips are actually not very strong. If you really push, push, push on them, they'll they'll just kind of bend. A stick will bend, and that's not super helpful. So if you can get in with a paper towel, that's actually kind of kind of better because you can you know wedge things in there and then apply a decent amount of force to hopefully scrape what a whatever you got in there off. Yeah, and these are nice. Nice stickers too. I'm not really super worried about them. They're kind of the metallic print. Um, I've had a couple stickers that are a little cheaper. They were clearly cheaper, and I actually kind of rubbed a little bit off. So I'm not gonna not gonna force it, but these seem pretty decent. So anyway, cool. That's not the part I really need to worry about. So around the keys over here, you can kind of see there's a bit of a bit of gunk in there, mostly to the edges, a little bit around the keyboard, the, each key. Uh, so that'll be a little difficult 
to get to, but let's get the big stuff first, and then if we need to get into anything else we can, that's totally fine. That's a bit cleaner already. <laughs> so I'll just go between all the all the keys at first just to get the big stuff and then we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, it's a little hard around keys with a, a paper towel, especially when I've already used it because it's going to want to fall apart as it's rubbing against all the different keys, but it's not doing too badly. I can be kind of gentle around the keys themselves. Uh, they don't seem particularly grimy. So as long as I get it in there, it'll probably pull everything out. But yeah, if you haven't already checked out this um, this device over on our social media, head over to Instagram or Twitter, handheld underscore museum. Uh, and when this video comes out, I will have already posted a few pictures. Uh, I try to take really gorgeous photos of, you know, old and maybe un unused, unloved devices and uh, yeah, make them look real good. But then uh, if you ever want to go kind of take a look at the entire collection that I've started to photograph and take videos of and things like that, um, you can always head over to handheldmuseum.org because they will be up there. All right, so this, this key, pretty grimy. I'm going to be kind of gentle at first because I don't know how good that sticker is. Sounds like magic. I love it. So, and I'm leaving a bit of uh, kind of junk behind with this paper towel, but I'll get in and wipe that all out in a second. I think that's pretty good. You know, it's not getting into the under the side of the keys or things like that. I could certainly take devices apart, but maybe once I get a little better, at least basic cleaning, then I can go in and actually clean the inside of devices as well. That would be pretty fun, uh, but you know, it takes a little more time for sure. Right, that's not bad. <sighs> cool. So I'm going to get in here with a microfiber cloth just to see if I can get all the kind of paper towel fuzz out of here. Probably get some canned air. <laughs> Whatever the case, I'll try to Try to lower the audio so it doesn't blast your ears if you're in headphones. That's no fun. Cool. So there's a little bit of a little bit of gunk up here by the the ACDC logo, man. I kind of think that made it a little better. I think this is looking pretty good, except for that. Except for that uh, stain, kind of on that bottom area. And of course, if you ever have any questions about the Handheld Museum or this device, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or like I said, hit us up on social media. It's, you know, it's a personal passion to collect handheld devices. I think it's really fun to go back really far with these kinds of early computers, uh, especially design-wise. But but yeah, you know, I'll take a look at anything modern, you know, up to up to now, because I think it's all valuable to the history of all this um, this computing that kind of goes with us. All right, that is not too shabby. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get some alcohol on this bottom part and see if I can make that any better. And I'm gonna be pretty gentle, so I'm gonna just use a a Q-tip for this one and see. See if it starts to come off and then go from there. Kind of doubt it. In all honesty, I could probably take this thing apart and do some retro writing on it, but I've never retro retrobrited anything, so that will have to be for a later video. I don't think that's coming off. I really think that's just a stain because I don't feel anything superficial. I'm just going to leave that, and I will not photograph that side. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. That's a Panasonic 850. Um, I think it looks a lot better already. It's 
pretty cool. I'll probably do some, you know, other little wipe downs just to make sure I can get some of the junk out. But frankly, you know, if I have if I have little artifacts in here that are dust and grime, I'll take them out with Photoshop. I thanks so much for watching. Check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, handheld underscore museum to take a look at all the gorgeous glamour shots of these devices. And you can always hit us up on our website, handheldmuseum.org. Take care.